We're standing here in front of the Attorney General's office building on this Earth Day morning to deliver a petition asking her to investigate Exxon. Just over 46 years ago, Cleveland's Cuyahoga River, polluted from decades of industrial waste and covered with oil, caught on fire. Ten months later, the United States celebrated its first Earth Day. Today we're celebrating the 46th Earth Day. And it seems to be no longer a river, but the whole planet that is catching on fire. We're here, as I said, to submit a petition to Maine Attorney General Janet Mills, asking her to investigate ExxonMobil. Mainers should be proud that Attorney General Janet Mills joined 17 other state attorneys general earlier this year in defending uh, the U.S. EPA's historic clean power plan, the first ever limits on carbon pollution from power plants in the United States. At that time, A.G. Mills wrote, quote, our natural resources are the lifeblood of our state's economy and, and our quality of life. Global climate change demands immediate action and I am committed to using the authority of my office to address the problem in a meaningful way. Uh, we are here today to ask Maine's top law enforcer to use the authority of her office and join the investigation started by the AGs in New York, California, and Massachusetts into charges that for decades ExxonMobil misled its shareholders about the causes and impacts of climate disruption. Mainers are counting on our Attorney General to lead and work on our behalf for justice and to protect our health, our economy, and climate from worsening climate disruption. The last person to speak uh, today is Kaylin Wise, a student at Colby College, a climate activist, a member of 350 Maine and 350.org. The Los Angeles Times and Inside Climate have published a series of stories that reveal the breadth of disparity between ExxonMobil's internal knowledge of the causes and severity of climate change and their external active climate denial. These stories are not simply a report about questionable public relations or corporate accountability. Rather, they demonstrate how unethically withholding information and acting against public interest has far-reaching, unaffordable implications. By supporting an investigation into Exxon's activities, and awareness of climate change, we send the message that corporations cannot benefit at our expense. This has been four decades in the making. Let's demand an investigation to account for any injustices we have suffered and will suffer in the future as a result of Exxon's misconduct.